Not far from Gru and the smokers at Svanø, you find the Norwegian National Deer Center. The Norwegian National Deer Center started up in 1990 to gather knowledge about the breeding and the management of deer and also to produce venison at its finest quality. Hey, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Fine, thank you. Yeah. Wow. I'm just outside with my friends. Yeah, this is, this is Bambi. <laughs> is it? Hey, this is Bambi. <laughs> oh. oh, they're so beautiful. Oh, they and are. And so tame. But yeah, that's because uh, you spend a lot of time with them, I guess. I do, all the time, all the year round, actually. Yeah. And I know them like uh, people. I yeah. got name on everyone. For real? Yeah, for real, I do. What kind of work do you do here on the farm? Uh, all kinds of things. We look into the history of parasites, uh, genetics, uh, feeding. We use the knowledge that we can get here, both uh, to learn more about how to manage the wild ones and how to farm the tame ones. Okay. So we're working on both fields. But why, why this? Why the deer? What's uh, so fascinating about it to you? Nearly no one ever believed we could tame them. So that was kind of a <laughs> challenge to see if we could tame them. And we also saw at that time that uh, the wild uh, population out in the wild was growing quickly. So, I mean, the demand for the knowledge from us is uh, growing, which is good. Yeah. So red deer, I thought I might just pick up a few things that I've learned. Like for instance from Gru, when she makes her smoked salmon and she uses what she has around herself in the environment. So I've picked some spruce up here on the hill. My intention with this was to smoke the potatoes. But first I'm going to brown the potatoes in plenty of butter until the butter is nice and caramelly and beautiful. And I'll use the butter as a sauce. I've picked some wonderful ramsons. These are going to be in the dish, of course, uh, but I thought it'd be really nice also to use sausage and perhaps mix that with some fresh greens, spring greens, potatoes. And I think I've talked enough, so let's get cooking. Mm -hmm. Plenty of butter, like I said, and I'm not being shy with the butter here at all. The, the potatoes are already cooked. They're boiled already and they're cold. So a bit of salt in there and then all of the potatoes go in. And these guys will just be swimming around in here until that butter is beautifully caramelized. Let's pay some attention to the vegetables. Nice pieces like this. I want to give them a bit of flavor too. So I'm gonna use the sausage. And this sausage is going to be cut down into small cubes. Time for the third ingredient, and that'll be ramsons. Chop these guys down as well. And I'm going to add a bit of leek to it as well, because I want that sweet oniony flavor. So there we are, the four ingredients that's gonna be the garnish to go with my red deer right here. It's actually getting ready over here. See, beautiful, and they're starting to get golden. My little version of a smoker will be just this little pot here. I'm going to take this lid and place it on the little branches and the twigs and then I'll place my potatoes on top of the lid. There we go, we've got smoke, lid is on and leave it like that for about one or two minutes, not more. It's had a minute and a half so I'm just going to set it down there and leave it to rest and cool down for a little while. Now it's time to cook the meat. A bit of salt, pepper, that's very, very rare. I'm taking this off the pan now. I'm gonna put it on this plate over here and allow it to rest for a little while let's say 10 minutes or so, and then we'll cut into it. Okay, so let's start working on the garnish. So all of this is gonna hit the pan basically at the same time. In goes asparagus, ramsons, leek. Toss it around a couple of times. 
butter just a tiny bit like that. I've got my garnish, my smoked potatoes, the meat that I'm going to cut up, and my caramelized butter that I'm going to add a tiny bit of vinegar to. And once that's done, it's plating time to my friends. Okay, so the moment of truth. The meat is so tender, it's absolutely sensational. And what more, this particular cut has a lot more flavor than the fillet would have had, for instance. And then the potatoes. Well, I wanted to see if I could apply Gru's philosophy about using whatever spice you have in your immediate surroundings. And you definitely can. Ha, 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 ha.